Do you own or have you found Confederate currency? And have you wondered if it's authentic or how much it's worth? Also, is there any moral issues with collecting or owning Confederate currency? Well, we're going to talk about that in this video. And what I have here on the right hand side is a 50 cent 1863 Confederate fractional currency. Now, this note looks to be pretty close to uncirculated. I don't see any major folds or tears or holes or anything like that. And I like this one here. You know, 35 to 40 dollars is the potential value. The, the back is blank on this one. Now, moving on to authentic or not, there I have a lot of uh, fakes here. And what should be noted, and we'll take one of them out. So we have. Let's see, $100 here, and we'll just jump to the back maybe a little bit and take a look, and we'll take one of these out and be very careful with it. The one thing about Confederate currency is it's very thin, okay? So you, you can tear it easily, and you, you want to be very, very careful with that. And when you're looking at the fake currency, can you hear the paper? See the paper? See the difference? This has been treated so that it's older. Look at the signatures they're printed. So somebody printed this. That's how you know. You see how the signature is here? And it's kind of brown. Well, they had iron in it, so it would actually rust a little bit. And that's why it would turn brown. The black signatures would turn brown. Then you can see some bleeding and things like that through the paper. So you know that's an authentic signature. It's probably going to be an authentic note. It has some ink up here as well for the number. And like I said, it's a period paper doesn't have the chemicals and things like that that something like this would have. So this $100 note here is a very nice note. It uh, doesn't have any major issues, maybe a little bit of staining on it. So, you know, you're looking anywhere from, a, you know, $125 and up. Might even be gradable. Who knows? But it has a little bit of a stamp on it. It's only thing that, you know, staining and things like that, that kind of holds it back a little bit. Typically, when you're looking at your Confederate currency, you are more or less looking at uh, a little above face. If it's really damaged, you're looking at uh, below face, possibly. And some of it's worth a lot more. It just depends. There are some rarer notes, but a lot of these were uh, printed and a lot of numbers. There's a lot of them out there. Uh, I'll, sh I'll show you a few more of the fakes that we'll look at. Some of these I've never owned as authentic notes. You know, never have had them in the shop. They're just, they're pretty rare, and they usually do that with the rare ones. Now, see, this one here is the thin paper. It's the paper you would expect, almost, almost. But yet, you can tell that the signature is printed. So, it's not a real signature, so it can't be real. Then you'll have some that are shrunk down, almost like Monopoly money. And they're, they're not authentic either. They're prints as well. And here's a few more of them. You can buy these at Civil War sites. You know, so, obviously, some people might have you know, an apprehension about collecting these or even owning these or handling these. And all I'm going to say is, is this, and not to get political or anything like that, but, it, you know, it's hard to separate some of the facts and the history from these notes. But it was more, not so much of a moral thing about slavery, but the economics. You know, the South wanted to expand, and, and I'm putting this in a nutshell because I'm not trying to get into this. But it was more about that, the control. You know, and obviously when uh, Abraham Lincoln was elected no electoral colleges from the south i mean elected him and that showed them that basically the president can get in there that's against the way they're doing things and that would actually that they, they lost their voice basically is what happened at that point so it just leads one thing to another but you know being history you know and and this is a preservation of the history and these are the fake ones obviously but yes they are a preservation of history and should be looked at as history and as a collectible item, just like anything else. Because even though we have this currency, and some people might look at this currency and think, you know, ill of it, or at least the history of it, we also had currency that was a Confederate back then that people collect and love, and they, they hold dear to them, and everybody spent that money. So it's all about history here. It's all about, you know, the artwork and appreciating things that happen and where we've come from. I mean, it's, it's so yes. We'll move on to just the notes itself because I really want to stick with that. I want to talk about that, not anything else. And this here is an, one of the more common, and it's, it's in a nice condition. 
and we're looking at a 1864 from Richmond, Virginia. Most of them are from Richmond, Virginia. Here's the reverse. And, you know, a note like this can be anywhere from, you know, $25 and up. And that's what you're looking at for a lot of these. And here's one that has a little different, uh, you know, it's got pink. It's 1862. It hasn't been cut exactly correct, but you'll see that a lot too. You'll see it where the cuts you know, go into the other parts of the sheets. They were made cheaply. The South didn't have a whole lot of money in the war effort and things like that. Um, it accounts for that. Uh, this one here is October 1863. This is another $5 note. And like I said, if you want to know how much notes like these go for, it is best to go over to eBay and look up, you know, Confederate note, put the date in, and try to find one that matches in, in this condition. These are really good condition notes. So, you know, these are in a $40, $50 range. Uh, some of these some of these are a little bit more than that, obviously. And then if you had to send off for grading, it could be worth more. You just never know with some of these. So there's $1862, $10. It's Richmond as well. And you see these a lot. Now, you don't see the this the the pink or whatever color you want to call that. I'm not sure what the actual the collectors would know the exact color of that. But you're looking at uh, about, you know, 60, 80 bucks they could uh, sell for. And here's the normal $10 you see a lot. I mean, probably in the 30, you know, $5 range on this one here. It's just, like I said, it's going to have a lot to do with condition. And here's the reverse. Basically about the same. Because this is just really mainly about collecting these and the values and making sure they're authentic. And like I said, you can see the signatures on these. Not all of them turn brown. They'll have a little brown to them. But you want to look for the bleed out. You want to look for, the like, like I said, you know, how the ink soaks into the paper. You want to look for, see if it's period paper. Uh, this is a $10, uh, 1864. And like I said, you know, in this condition, these notes can go for a little more than the $40 and $50. Most of them, like I said before, $25 bucks to $35. And then when you get up to the larger denominations like $20 and, and $50, then it starts increasing. This one's a little better of a note, 1861, Confederate States of America. This is really a, a kind of a cool note to design. They do look a little cheap made. I always think that because I compare it to uh, the... You know, silver certificates we have, the 1899, the Chief, and the Buffalo, and, and the Bison. All those notes that look really good compared to these. The educational notes and the wood chopper just executed better. This one's probably worth $100 plus on this one here. It's been a decent note there. Then here's a little more common of a $20 note. You'll see these for sale from $25 and up. Uh, this one's in good condition. Richmond, Virginia here. That's pretty common you see these a lot that's the one you see the most often in the 20s fives here's another one you see pretty often too it's 1864 worth about the same value like i said the condition is always going to be different the condition changes everything on these like i said i don't claim to be an expert on them i know that basically when it comes to currency i'm going to look it up when i make sure i'm going to verify with uh, sold auctions I've got a, a Freebird's book there on currency. And when you start getting into the $50 notes, 1864, you, you don't see these that often. And I've already shown you the $100 note. So this $50 note is worth around $80 and could sell for more. Like I said, if you get on eBay, you'll see different price ranges. So you want to go with the buy it now and you want to make sure you're matching. Because you see a little bit of foxing, you see a little bit of staining and things like that. All that kind of affects it. But this was a fairly well-centered note. And pretty good condition. So yeah, eighty bucks. So what a pretty pretty close to that. And then here is a hundred dollar note that you don't see all that often. I don't see them in a the shop very much. Or this is more of the common hundred dollar notes. But you're looking at anywhere from one hundred twenty five to one hundred fifty dollars for this. And here's the reverse. What it looks like. It's pretty cool to see a hundred dollar note. You know, just it's not one of those things that you see very often in the Confederate currency. And then here's another $100 note. And this one here, you know, I, I showed you already, I believe. And it has the little stamp on it and all that. I'm not sure exactly how it affects the value. But, I mean, it wouldn't hurt. I could send all of them off and maybe get more out of them. I don't know, but I probably won't. But it's just, I like having the inventory and I can show people and educate people on how much they're worth. 
educate people on actually um, authentication because that is more important than anything. Value doesn't mean anything if it's not real. And you'll see facsimile, copy, reproduction. A lot of the notes that I had here that I showed you, these fake notes, these reproductions came in this. It's basically a souvenir is what it is. You know, this one here had, you know, Georgia and Arkansas and North Carolina. All these aren't in there now, I'm not saying, but someone brought these in, you know, and they were upset because they, they felt they had really old notes and worth a lot of money, and, and they weren't. So anyways, thanks for watching my latest video. Please like, share, and comment, and have a great day.